What's going on guys, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if that sounds interesting to you today. We're checking out an AI plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro that literally edits the video for you. What this plugin does, or quickly, it's called Shake Free, and essentially what it does is analyzes your footage, analyzes your entire sequence, and it looks for any clips that are, you know, a little bit shaky at the end or whatever, stuff that you'd normally be chopping out anyways, and they try and save you the time by artificially, artificial intelligently taking everything out that shouldn't be there, or, uh, you know, at least they detect might not be perfect video footage that you'd actually want in your sequence. So it saves time and edits the video for you. On the screen is Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got three different sets of clips from live projects. These first set of clips right here is clips from an editing contest that I did. This is me walking around by the river back in my hometown, just basically making a, doing a couple clips for, um, for my audience on YouTube, obviously, you guys too essentially, you know, edit some stuff with, right? So we've got those clips. We're going to load those up. We've also got some car clips for a uh, uh, behind the scenes of a, a of a car promo video that I shot a little while ago. I'm actually just going to mute this. Um, and we've also got some clips for my trip to the Netherlands, um, the Netherlands two months ago or something like that. All right. So we're looking good. And let me just quickly go ahead and just mute a couple couple different layers and we're going to be loading some stuff up so first off let's start with these taut nest clips let's actually highlight them all drag and drop them into the sequence right here it's looking like one minute 99's worth of stuff so you know what i'm actually going to go ahead and do i'm just going to take out the longer clips because i i don't want to be sat here processing stuff for too long for an example so on screen right now we have one two three four five six six clips and we want to actually go ahead and run these through shake free the ai a plugin extension, not a plugin extension that edits our videos for us. What we do is we go up here to window, we go to extensions and we find shake free, click it and it will load up a, uh, another kind of, uh, extension, right, right here. Now this acts like everything else. If we want, we could, uh, you know, I'm sure we could insert this into the, into the actual layout of premiere. And essentially we get a 10 day free trial. Now I'm actually just going to continue my trial. I've been in it six days. I've been using it. It's going well so far. And you guys can download it top line of the description down below if you want to get your 10 day free trial, run it through, see if your footage works. It might, it might not. We're going to have a look if it works for mine. I'm going to click continue and it basically breaks it down. Super simple. Open the sequence in the timeline, click the plus sign right there and repeat one and two to add multiple sequences. Amazing. So we just want to select our sequence, go up here to the plus button and it loads up. Now, first off, just stables open. Now, what this is going to do is process the video. Now, stable, what, what stable will do is literally just chop out the shaky bits and leave a, a sequence like this with a whole bunch of gaps. For example, say the end is shaky. It'll have a whole bunch of gaps like that. And um, essentially also, we won't know what got chopped out, but we want stable to be ticked, shake and ripple. So not only will that chop all the bad stuff out, it will make another sequence with all the stuff that it chopped out so we can review and make sure nothing that we actually wanted was chopped out. And also ripple is obviously ripple delete. That'll bring everything. So instead of having gaps, it, it will just bring everything over that was that was deleted. And literally that's it. We now press the, 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 the you know, the play button, the green thingamajig right there. And we wait for it to process. Now, the longer your sequence, the longer it's going to take to process. The longer the clips, the longer it's going to take to process. Those are the essential factors. Now, that's why I took it down from two minutes to about a one minute, 30 second sequence for the pure fact of just having this process time right here on the screen be a little bit quicker for the demonstration's sake. Now, you guys right here, obviously, we could just cut back. That's absolutely fine, but doing a shorter sequence like that means we could just render it right there. And it says complete, uh, it's processed, and what it will do is it'll actually open up a another folder right there. And as you see right here, what we have is the stable only. So it's gotten the stable, it's chopped out all of the shaky bits, and it's ripple deleted, so everything's brought over. As we see right there, that right there is the optimal point. And that's me smoking a, a prop, just a prop. And uh, just like that, as we see, we're going through here and it is trying to basically just get the, the perfect bits right there. As we see, that chops right before it was, uh, it was about to go shaky. And if we double click here, we can find all the bits that were actually cut out. So that right there is what was cut out. Obviously, trash. That wouldn't have been used. Next, that. That's completely shaky. Again, prop. Uh, this right here. Look how shaky that is. So 
It is artificially intelligently chopped out all of this nonsense right here. And we're playing it right now. All of this is nonsense. Every, like not a single piece is usable. That especially, look at this one. I don't know what the hell was going on here, man. I might need to find a new cameraman, mom. Just kidding, of course. But first one, the test went perfectly. That right there, shout out to Shake Free. That one went absolutely amazing. And uh, let's, let's get on to the next one. So I want to get the car clips. Highlight them, drag and drop them into the sequence, make a brand new sequence. Now this is looking like we're going to want to chop some stuff down. I'm actually going to take off the thing at the end and I'm going to take off that one right there as well. I'm going to bring this down and we're still deal dealing with a one minute 54 worth of stuff. Again, super simple. Click the plus, load it up. It's actually, you know, not saved our presets. We're going to want to tick, sh shake, tick ripple and go ahead and tap the play button. And it's going to start processing. This might be a little bit more delayed than the other one because it's a bit longer, but let's have a look. I mean, the footage I think is actually, I think it's the same quality footage. I think it was shot on the same camera, but test number one, just to speak to you guys while this, while this renders, I mean, processes, absolutely amazing, phenomenal. Shout out to the team at Shake Free. That right there demonstrated how well it worked. It literally took out anything that was complete trash. Nothing was usable that it took out, saved us the time of chopping that out manually. And we have got test number two coming up. Test number two, is oh okay right i should have taken out the first one it seems to have processed that again and now processed the second one moved on to it so i think i got to delete it out of the queue that makes sense makes a lot of sense indeed just like that it has processed we can load it up and i'm actually just going to want to go ahead and double click that that is the stable only so just like that we've got just the shots that will be good this is me hanging out of a car basically filming this, this car promo video for a, a car dealership called Signature Cars in my area. So right there is looking like some stable stuff. Perfect. You know, at the end of the day, we're driving at like, you know, 40, 50 miles an hour or something. So at the end of the day, um, we're 30, 40. So it was kind of tough to make the perfectly stable footage. So this does not reflect badly on Shake Free if there's a couple little things. But as we see here, this is what was chopped out. So a pan down, it's easy for it to de detect that that was kind of useless footage. The window going up and the, the car shaking, nothing's in frame right there. It's not looking good. That, nothing, whole bunch of nothing. Uh, shaky, far too shaky. So this is this is the side that shows us what was deleted, which it's super easy to, uh, or super useful rather, to see what was deleted because we can see that, you know, none of this was usable, not even slightly usable. Driving the X6 in front of us, as we see the camera just going everywhere. Test number two, accomplished. Now it looks like if I, if I actually minus these, right? So I get them off of there. So it won't process those first and we can finally move on to example number three. Let's get it done. Uh, Rotterdam clips, highlight them all, drag and drop them over here. And it is looking like we have chopped out some craziness. Um, I'm having a look. Uh, oh yeah, that that's a pointless clip. Okay, perfect. So I've got Again, one minute, 59 seconds worth of stuff. Let's hit the plus. Make sure to tick shake. Make sure to tick ripple. I got you, Corey. Go ahead and tap it. And we're going to sit here. We're going to wait it out until this actually goes through. And uh, this is going to be our final example. First two examples performed phenomenally. They demonstrated that this right here is, at the very least, 100% worth taking them up on the 10-day free trial, let alone also getting involved in, in, in getting the premium version going forward. But... We've processed that right there, and it is COO18 shake free. Double click the ripple. This is all of the, the good bits. Stable only. Yes. Okay, cool. Stable only. So this is this is trying to get all the, the good bits, if you will. It's me and Rotodam right here. Doing my thing, doing my thing. So this one, the footage is semi-poor. I'm not gonna lie. Like the footage itself isn't phenomenal. But that right there was pretty good. What it did is it, you see what I mean? Uh, the camera actually zooms over to me, but it chops that whole bit out and just comes to the perfect point where it would have started with me sort of just filming this tunnel right here. But we could double click the shakes. We can have a look at what the shakes were like. Shake number one. And this whole bit was a whole bunch of nonsense. Like I just said, that was the walk over to me before the shot starts. So that's perfect. It did great right there. Chop that out. That doesn't look like it's a whole bunch right there. And finally that is complete nonsense, complete shakes. That right there is shake free the AI extension that edits video for you 
Honestly, that was a really good demonstration. Shout out to the team at Shake Free. It clearly showed that it, you know, not only saved us time, but also showed us what bits it chopped out, which is pretty crucial because, I mean, we can go back, we can look, and we can sort of just confirm like, oh yeah, that stuff definitely did not need to be in there. But that right there, Shake, shake Free, the link is down below in the description, top line of the description. Download it and get yourself a 10-day free trial and uh, overall Personally, I co-sign it. I think it's definitely worth it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you to Shake Free for, for sponsoring the video. Have a nice day. Take it easy. Peace out.